Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Lisa and today we're going to take your average fridge condiments and we're going to turn them into three sauces. Tartar sauce, barbecue sauce, and cocktail sauce. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and make the barbecue sauce. So let me tell you the ingredients we'll be using. We're gonna be using some liquid smoke, some ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, onion powder, salt, and pepper. So not everybody has liquid smoke in their kitchen. You don't need it. Barbecue sauce is not required to have liquid smoke in it. But if you want that hickory smoke flavor, then it tastes better with it if that's what you like. So let's get these all put together and get it going. Okay, so I have all our ingredients here. Uh, you can see it, scroll down below, it tells you exactly all the measurements. So we have our ketchup. We'll go ahead and put the ketchup in. And obviously you can see that this is exactly a cup. So we'll put that in. And then this is the liquid smoke. Put that in. This is the Worcestershire sauce. Put that in. And as you can also see, we have the garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna throw all that in. And then we're gonna mix it up. Now, the thing is with this, <clears throat> If you're going to baste it on some chicken, it's good to go just the way it is. But if you're going to use it actually for like a dipping sauce, my recommendation is to heat it in a saucepan, maybe medium, low, something like that, for about 10 minutes because all of the dry ingredients right now are still kind of solidified. So, But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it with some little smokes and it'll heat up in the crock pot and it'll warm up really nicely. So we're gonna put this in the crock pot right now. We'll start some other sauces by the time we're ready to taste. This is gonna be delicious. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we're ready to make the cocktail sauce. Um, I have uh, these two ingredients out just to let you know for the salsa. Um, I went ahead and just pulled all the chunks out, no liquid. If you put too much liquid, it'll just make the consistency wrong. So just chunks out of the salsa. And the Tabasco, I have that out because if for some reason you do not have horseradish in your fridge, Tabasco works just as well to give it that heat that it needs to have a really good cocktail sauce flavor. Okay, so those out of the way. We've got our ketchup and it's just a half a cup. And the salsa. This is the onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. <laughs> and the horseradish. I'm just gonna stir that all together. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in the fridge to cool while we get our shrimp ready to go and we'll taste it in a bit. Let's move on to our next sauce. Okay, so the last sauce we're gonna go ahead and do is the tartar sauce. So we have our mayonnaise. Put that in the bowl. This one is so simple. It's the easiest one of them all. The relish. A plain old relish that you would normally find in your kitchen and just a pinch of onion powder. That's it. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some fish ready for this and we're going to go ahead and taste all of these and see how they taste. Also if you wanted to make more you can see that this isn't a huge amount. You can double or even triple any of the quantities on any of these depending on what you're making. 
So let's get everything ready and we'll come back and taste. All right, we're all set, everything's done. We're gonna go ahead and give them each a taste. Uh, first I'll go ahead and try the barbecue sauce on a little spook. It's delicious, easy to make, and inexpensive, especially if you're out at home. So let's move on to the next. Let's go with the cocktail. Look at that consistency, can you see that? It's a really good consistency. Mmm. Tastes just like it does out of the jar that you buy from the store. So delicious. Last but not least, stuffing my face here, <laughs> is the tartar sauce. Let's try that. Voila, perfect. These are so easy to make. You guys just at least try these and you'll find out that it's so much fun and so cheap and inexpensive and just have a good time with it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Lisa and if you get a chance, please subscribe on YouTube and check out our website www.burningcereal.com. See you next time. fridge condiments and turn them into three sauces. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> hey, blah, blah. hey, back if I don't know what to say, shit. So let's get cooking. We have some liquid smoke. We have ketchup. <laughs> we have this sauce right here. <laughs> I have a really hard time saying it, so I'm showing it to you today. And the ingredients we'll be using are some liquid smoke, some ketchup, some Worc... What is it? Worcester. No, honey. Worcestershire. No, come on! Worcestershire. That's what it says. No, what is it? How do you say it? Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Freaking hate this ingredient. Oh, thank you for waiting.